this is what he says I can have. Is that off. Ooh, joy of joys. Oh, look at the size of that, uh, that uh, transformer. Look at the thickness of those copper bars. Uh, the dog can now see the rabbit. Right. Oh, no, I can't lift that. Houston, we have a problem. I got my big AC DC Miller TIG welder, which I stripped on site. And I managed to bring home these two rather large transformers. Unfortunately, this one's aluminium. Don't know about that one. Well, that coil's certainly aluminium. And this one is all copper. Now, I did watch Cruiser Mac, who uh, had a big transformer, slightly different. It was it was uh, one big coil, got many layers of windings, round a big core. This one's slightly different, it, it, it's two windings. Now, I can't really mess about, it's going to start to go dark started this a little bit late but my wife is giving me some grief about the stuff that's out here so i do need to get it on and get it done basically as quick as possible so quick as possible is a nine inch angle grinder yeah i'm going to lose a little bit of copper dust but the savings in time are worth it you can have a look, you can see the construction. So my plan is to go straight across there, spin it round, straight across here, turn it over, exactly the same, that bit, that should fall off either side, and just leave these bits in the middle to hammer through. So I'll set you on the tripod and let's get at it. Why are we doing it here? Well, it's simple. I can't lift it up. It's too big. Too heavy. If any of you are wondering just why I keep coming off and going into the metal, well, the copper's soft, and this is designed to cut steel and stainless steel, so it does tend to clog up, round, smooth over the cutting edge. Going to a bit of steel, it, it, it cleans it. I carry on cutting until I'm getting sparks all the way across. Then I know I've gone through and hit the uh, centre core. So, same again.
So there you go, Cruiser Mac. That's how I do it. Although it wasn't quite the same as what you were doing. Should have got me bigger hammer. There we go. Ah, that's why. That piece there. Eek. So there we go. Ooh, look at all that nice shiny copper. Right, I better crack on. Well, that should be able to knock that through. Indeed. There we go. They're wrapped up. Oh. So there we go, folks. What's that? Easy quarter of an inch. Thick, easily. Six, six milli, maybe bordering on it. Eight milli thick. With one side out, I can uh, ease your access to this side. So then it's just. Uh, rinse and repeat see you when i've done okay i've uh well i've got all that copper out lovely copper that is still too heavy for me to lift and it's still just a transformer uh just a big transformer so it's the same construction as doing a microwave the top piece is just welded on across the top so in theory you just get a hammer and bang the top off but this is a bit more of substantial construction and there's a plate here that's welded on that side and that side so i reckon with the grinder if i cut straight across there i should be able to take the top off and that should make it just that little bit lighter enough for me to uh, to pick up we shall see. I think we can help that just off a little. kilos uh, 35 35 that's 38 pounds in weight and this one is oh, still heavy ah bolt big balls big balls 
but I can carry that. Well, as you can, folks can see, the street lights are coming on, house lights are coming on, so it's getting dark. My neighbours just love me, don't they? It's only 4.30 till 5, I don't exactly know what time it is. Right, so I'm just going to do the same with that one, which I know is all aluminium, aluminium. Uh, and then we'll tie it all up, have a weigh-in in the garage. Okay, uh, we'll do this in the the light. Okay, well this second transformer, I don't think if you're going to see this very well, but uh, there we go. I've let lucky. The top few layers are copper, it's only the bottom two windings which are aluminium. Because I was a, a little worried that when I cut these off in the last video when I went ah it'll all be aluminium it isn't so winner winner chicken dinner aluminium copper oh the joys the joys of uh, being a scrapman aluminium so there we go, that's that emptied and sorted uh, with a big pile of crap between my legs uh, still got my legs stuck out and uh, oh don't fall over and uh, we've got to figure a way of weighing that the aluminium part of the old transformer I didn't want to do that it's just, well it's fork, eight fork four five six kilograms that's 10 12 pounds no it's more six to 12 14 14 pounds in weight of uh, aluminum a little bit there to strip now that can go in this which i'll have to figure out how to do that with that and uh we'll give you some weights Hey, hey. Okie doke, I brought the wife's scales in so we can go on. Oh, that's in stone and pounds, you don't want that, do you? So for the Americans, I'll just put it in pounds. Off. find a flat bit on the floor there we go now it doesn't work there there we go right on put that on there and if I can do this with my gammy leg Shall we have a guess? Shall we have a guess? Oh, the 40 kilos times that by two. 80, 84 pounds. That's my guess. Right. Here we go. The scores on the doors is uh, 97.6 pounds. Right, well, I'm getting weak in my old age. Well, that's a good turnout. Oh. We'll turn that over and put it in metric. In metric. 94 should be about 40 kilos. Ay, ay, ay. 40 something kilos. 44 kilos. 44 and a half kilos. Oh. Wow. Get that off there, baby. Oh, it's not doing my leg any good. It's not doing my leg any good at all. 
So a good haul indeed. As for the aluminium, well, I can just use the fishing scale for that, can't I? So I can just hook that in there, hook that in there, and that lift up. Well, roughly eight, eight pounds. So, a good turnout indeed for that uh, that transformer, big transformer. Of course, that's not going to be the total gains from that welder. I mean, there's lots of these big, thick, heavy cables, which, as the ferruled at both ends, I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep them. You never know when they come in handy. So. There's other stuff as well, isn't there? Big copper strapping bars. But when we've, uh, when we've, when I, when I've stripped everything, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna weigh it all up, and in a future video, I'll show you just what I did get out of that uh, big welding set. Right, that's enough for today. Uh, Ian in his shed. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video and I'll catch you in another one. Take care now.